verse, and I promise we'll end here. Look at Daniel 7. Verse 13 and 14. Henry. And you said, And God raised Jesus from the dead. And he ascended to the right hand of God. It says that the Son of Man was presented before the Ancient of Days. And all authority was given unto him. And God looked at his son. He looked at your Messiah. Your king. And he said, without your word, not one finger will move on earth. King of kings. Lord of lords. Remember when the Canaanite woman came to Jesus? Heal my daughter. He said, no, I've been sent to Israel. She said, but, but or the dogs even eat the crumbs. They fall from the children's table. You know who he's talking about? It's talking about me. I'm not a Jew. I'm a Gentile. From a pagan nation. I come from a history of idolaters. Immoral, ignorant men. No temple for the living God was ours. We had no law except our wicked hearts. And we were so vile, we were rightly called dogs. Look at verse 14. And to the Messiah was given dominion, glory, and a kingdom. That all the peoples, that all the nations, and that men of every language might serve him. Do you know what 
say, what must I do to be saved? Repent of your sins and believe this message. Recognize that you've been wrong about everything. Saul of Tarsus left on the road to Damascus. He thought Jesus was the greatest blasphemer that had ever come to Israel. He thought that Christians were the enemies of God. On the road to Damascus, he met the risen Savior. And he realized he was wrong about everything. The one he thought was the blasphemer was the Messiah. He changed his mind. He thought that the Christians were the enemies of God. Only to discover they were God's people. He changed his mind. And everything else about him changed. Recognize you're wrong about everything. Believe the gospel of Jesus Christ. And you will be saved. That is the gospel. So is the gospel.